What's going on guys, so today we're back in a new video and in today's video we're going to show you the easiest way to join a modded server in DayZ standalone. So if you're wanting to join a server in DayZ standalone, there is a few ways of doing it. Now you can do it through the actual in-game launcher for DayZ, but I find that one to be a little bit complicated it's a little bit clunky as well. Personally, that's my take on it. Some people prefer the in-game launcher and that's cool as well. If you prefer the in-game launcher, use that uh, launcher. It's personal preference. But I think the DayZ standalone launcher is a lot better. And it's just a lot easier to use and be able to join a server quite quickly. So we're going to show you how to use that one today. So the first thing you want to go do is go to this website. I will have it linked in the description down below. It's the daisysalauncher.com. You go to this and it'll bring you to this site. Now what you want to do here is click download on that and leave that download. It should only take a couple of seconds if you have decent internet. It's only 3.3 megabytes big. And then what you want to do is click on it and run. It'll ask you to run it. Click yes. Then it'll ask you to set it up. I'm going to click next on all this. You can choose where you want to have it create it i'm just putting it on my ssd for now it also asks if you want to create a desktop shortcut i usually create a desktop shortcut so i'm going to do that and then you click install once you're finished that's it so once you're finished you'll see this or this icon on your desktop what you want to do is just double click it and it'll start to load the launcher now for this to launch your steam has to be open so just make sure your Steam's open before you launch, because if it doesn't, it'll give you an error saying that you can't show an instance of Steam running. Okay, so now that we are in the launcher, this is one of the easiest ways, I think, to be able to join a server. So I'm going to search for a server. The server I'm going to use for this video is Septic Falcon Server. I've played on before, quite a good server. So I'm going to show you how to join that one. So I'm going to type in Septic. Add two servers that come up here. Both of these servers are his. But this is the one I want to show on the Septic Falcon uh, expansion one with custom helicopters and everything like that. So first thing I'm going to do is click the little star icon over here, which will add it to my favorites. So then when you get rid of the search bar and clear that out, it'll be in your favorites here. So it'll show up as one of your favorites. And there it is for me. We have the server there now. What I then want to do is if I was joining a new server I want to play straight away, I would personally click on the play button straight away and it would tell you what mods I need and you install them. But if you wanted to see beforehand what mods are on the server, you can click on the play icon and then it'll give you a few different things here and you can see info and info will tell you the IP server, the name of it, and it'll show you all the mods that are on the server. And these are all the mods that are on the server here. So I'm going to click on the play button again and I'm just going to click play. And it is coming up telling me that I am have these mods missing and so that I need to download them. When I click OK, is automatically going to take me to the mod section and it's going to start downloading all of these mods in you should download them here and as you can see it is downloading them there and if it doesn't do it there it will show you uh downloading them in steam either so the mods depending on the mods some of them can take longer some of them a couple of gigabytes big and some of them can be only a few megabytes to a couple of hundred megabytes big just wait for them to be finished and i can see from in here that my daisy workshop content is downloaded and there is no mods downloading in here and well if you didn't know if your mods were finished downloading or not you could also just click play on the server again and if it leaves you into it you know your mods are downloaded and if not it comes up saying that still mods are missing that they're still downloading so now that the mods are downloaded there is two different ways you can load into the server you can click play right away and it'll load the mods and it'll just bring you into the server straight away but if you didn't want to do that and say you wanted to leave all the mods load up first but you didn't want to join the server straight away because you had to go and do something or whatever you could click load and it will load the mods and everything but it will put you in the main menu of daisy and then from there you can click play and go into the server but for now i'm just going to click play as soon as we want to go straight into the server and it'll say that it'll be launching daisy and then it will launch up now you can keep this launcher open in the background you don't have to close it down if you want to, but you can if you want to close it down and your game will still run fine it can take a couple of minutes or a few couple of seconds to join a server but be patient with it give it time because it just has to try and load all the mods and start the game and everything as well so it can take a bit longer than if you were trying to join a vanilla server for example so once your game is loaded, you'll join into a server. Now I've already played on the server before, so I'm not spawning down to the coast, but as usual, you would spawn down to the coast and you would be able to play the game. A couple of things to mention when you do spawn into a server as well, is that 
in the Daisy expansion, if you're playing on a server with the Daisy expansion mod on it, you might want to go down to your chat and be able to change it down here. So you can change the fade out time of the chat and stuff as well. So you can make it disappear um, quicker and stuff like that as well. And you might want to mess around with a few of your uh, settings in the Daisy expansion mod. Just go through them and see what your preferences you want to have on and what notifications you want to have on and off. But that is pretty much it. Once you're into server then, you can play away. And then say when we had loaded up the game, if we didn't press play and we press load and said it would take you to the main menu screen here. And then you'd be just able to press play down here and then it would leave you connect to the server as well. If you needed to go AFK or whatever while loading into the game. Another thing with some servers as well, Septics Falcon server doesn't have it, but in some servers you can see this little information like I icon next to some server names and basically what this does is this you can click on that and it can give you a bit more information about uh, the server you're playing on as well and they can usually give you links to their discord and everything like that as well so if you ever want to join the discord like up you can see up the top here you have the discord you can click that and it'll join us take it to the website one other thing as well that i have happened to me before is when you join a modded server or when you're trying to join a modded server sometimes it will kick you and you will get a dot pbo error for a certain mod this might it can be any mod on the server but sometimes you will get this error and it can be kind of frustration and sometimes you might know how to fix it so i'm going to show you the way that i've usually fix it and uh, it's worked every time for me so say on the septic falcon server one of the mods that was there was the land rover mod it's a vehicle mod so say we get a pbo error for that land rover mod what i usually do is if we get that error i exhale the game i go into the steam workshop for daisy and then i go where the search bar is for daisy and i type in the name of the mod and sometimes what I can do, and here's the Land Rover mod here, sometimes what the game can do, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but sometimes you can go into it and even though you've thought you've subscribed to the mod because it said yes to download the mod, sometimes it might not subscribe you to the mod. So what you might want to do is just check and make sure you are subscribed to the mod. If you are subscribed to the mod and you're still getting that PBO error, what I usually do is I would unsubscribe right here, click unsubscribe, and then I would resubscribe to it and then it would kind of re-download the mod again and make sure it's all there and usually 99% of the time that works for me I'm able then to get into the server again and play. I said I'd make this video an updated version of it as well with the PPO error to give you my tips on how to fix the PPO error and how to join Daisy servers. It's pretty easy once you know how to join them and set it all up. This is now again this is the easiest way I personally think I prefer this launcher compared to Daisy's in-game launcher that's just me it's all personal preference at the end of the day so i hope this has helped you out there if you have any questions or problems shutting servers leave me know in the comment section down below and i will do my best to be able to help you with them but uh yeah if you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like it does help a lot and subscribe because we are very very close to 2k subs otherwise than that i should catch you guys in the next video and peace out for now